Hi guys, what is going on and welcome back to another video. Now first of all, hi. I hope you're doing well. It feels like a while since I last spoke to you. I'm actually wearing a Christmas jumper. This was last year's. I have no idea where I got it from, but it's got reindeers on. <laughs> I'm sitting here drinking my green smoothie. I feel so fitness and health right now. <laughs> Gosh, this isn't a true representation of my diet at the moment. It really isn't, guys. But, oh, <gasps> great, fantastic. I'm doing this intro a little bit of a topsy-turvy way round. So in a moment, I will show you how I make my breakfast green smoothie. But before we start, I wanted to say a quick thank you to the sponsors of this video again. And I love working with them, Anna Lucia. Now, it is literally only the jewellery I wear now. Their jewellery is so minimal, but just ever so classy. And there are such a wide range of pieces, ranging from $39. So you can go from inexpensive pieces and then higher end pieces if you do want to treat yourself. Now at the moment I am wearing the layered necklace. I've also got this lovely ring on which I love even more because I never know my ring size and I also like to change kind of ring fingers as well so it's adjustable. Now I always think jewellery is really hard to choose for other people but I find because this is so classic, you just literally can't go wrong. It just makes such a perfect gift for the holiday season. And they actually have a sale on starting, I think it started on the 22nd of December, going right through to the 26th of December. But on sale items, they are doing a discount of buy one, get one piece 40% off. So yeah, it's amazing to gift for you or gift to someone special. I will put my code and link to shop in the description. Let's get on with the smoothie making. I am about to make my breakfast smoothie. Now I say breakfast, it's my first meal of the day. It's about half 10 in the morning. I've just been doing bits and bobs. I'm really into smoothies at the moment, which is quite strange, really, because it is winter time. It's very cold and normally you would want something a little bit more wholesome, but I've just been loving smoothies. I don't normally have them as like, a first meal. I normally have them as like a half three, 4 p.m. snack when I want something a little bit sweet, something quick, easy and filling. Anyway, all I've got is my Nutribullet. This is gonna be different for me. I normally have the Bulk Powders Vegan Vanilla Protein just because I find sometimes with whey, it doesn't really sit well on my stomach, but I accidentally ordered the way isolate the vanilla one from bulk powders so i think it'll be fine i've not got a dairy intolerance i just find that vegan whey just sits better on me then i always use spinach when i first started making smoothies i was like hmm i don't know about spinach you'll be able to taste all the greenness and occasionally when i haven't got spinach i use kale and i do find if you're a bit like funny on the greenness in smoothies. I do find kale is sometimes a little bit too bitter for me. I'm going to use a banana. I'm going to use a little bit of the semi-oat milk and then fill the rest up with some water. I'm also going to add a little bit of ground cinnamon just because it's like, it's nearly Christmas. I always shake it up. It's really good. Guys, can I just show you this actually? This Christmas tree, it is looking so incredibly sad. We have put water in it. <laughs> so before anyone comments, you haven't watered the Christmas tree, we definitely have and we continue to, but it's just looking so droopy. I do not know what it's gonna look like on Christmas day. <laughs> have you seen this? Anyone got any recommendations of what to do with it? but almost, it looks like it's dying. 
and we are back as a full disclaimer this is actually the next day after i'd made my smoothie yesterday and started making the gingerbread my camera just died and so i was charging it up and i was like you know what i'm actually not going to film anything else i'm going to start again tomorrow i actually did an instagram post yesterday about just giving yourself a little bit of a break and not being too hard on yourself and i know since the start of December my whole mantra has been how are you treating yourself with kindness today and I think we should just do that all the time I mean it's a given but whether we actually practice it on a daily basis and are not so critical to ourselves we almost expect to be productive all the time and you know have a really good day all the time but actual fact this year has been really hard and I do think the last few weeks of this year and I've seen it already online with the people I follow they're maybe not posting as much or just kind of quietening down and you can tell everyone's just like finishing off for the year I'm actually just wrapping some presents I got this from Oliver Bonas I think the wrapping paper I mean I do love an animal wrapping paper but it's like got different kinds of dogs and they've got like Christmas scarves but I've just had my breakfast so I'll insert that clip now If you can see guys, my eyes are red. They are actually very red today. Nala's got this new thing, cause now she's a big girl. She's allowed in our bedroom at night and normally she's really good. We have her like scratching post bed slash tree. You've probably seen it in my other videos. It's very big and it's got this like bed on top. So we put that next to our bed. <laughs> She's like a child, isn't she? And she normally sleeps on there till like we just get up in the morning. But last night she was such a pain and we should have put her out. But she's got this thing of like, she purrs. It's very cute, very cute, but it was like two in the morning. She was purring and then came onto my side and kind of just slept on my pillow. So. <laughs> I was like piggy in the middle and Ed was like over one side and Nala had this like all my side of the bed. She's actually not a multi cat at all. She doesn't shed that much, but we haven't given her a good brush for a while. So I think we need to do that because she was literally on my pillow. So I think my eyes have had a bit of a reaction today. I'm actually just filming a reel for Gymshark. It's the new Hyper Amplify range and it's actually releasing on Boxing Day on the 26th of December. And I wore in a post a few weeks ago, one of the sets and people are going crazy. And I've seen that a lot of other athletes have been wearing it recently. So I thought I would just quickly run through some of the color combinations that I've got and my favorites that I like because it's really nice to mix and match this collection. Now, if you've had the Gymshark Amplify before, it is not the same. So it's been inspired by the collection, but it's just not the same at all. This is like a complete level up. So yeah, I can't kind of compare but it does have such like a stretchy waistband. It is really high waisted. It's got this really nice bum contouring and I'm just obsessed with the colors. Now in the actual leggings and long sleeved crops, which um, the collection comes in, I have actually got three of the colorways, but I actually really like pairing them with the longer t-shirts. And I'll show you here how I tie them and make them into a crop. Because of my body shape, I've got quite short legs. I really love to tie my t-shirts or vests into crops. 
I just find it elongates my body and makes me look a little bit taller and my shape to be nicer. I wear a small in the collection and I find that it's really true to size. So yeah, I thought I would give you a quick run through of that. Like I said, it is releasing on the 26th of December. I'll pop the link as well in my bio. I just made my oats for lunch. It's a bit of a topsy-turvy way round, but I still fancy a little snack. So I'm gonna eat one of my gingerbread men, which I started making yesterday on a vlog, but then that's when my camera cut out. They're actually really, really good. I'll put below the recipe which I use, but it just makes tons. Like, <laughs> his little foot came off. But it, yeah, it literally makes tons of these gingerbread cookies. I actually used loads of different sizes of cutters. So yeah, I'm just going to eat this and then I will catch up with you for my final meal of the day. So we've been a little bit lazy and got a delivery Wagamama's. I've got a chicken donbori uh, and it looks like it's got some rice in, um, some teriyaki chicken, I think. I'm not sure what that is. What have you got? Some kind of noodle-y thing. Gyozas and what are they? Chili squid. And we've got a free orange juice. <laughs> and we are back on the morning of the next day, which is Thursday. Hopefully I'll have this video up by Friday. I'm not sure what date that is. Don't you find at the moment all the dates roll into one? Yesterday's Deliveroo wasn't great. I have to say, unfortunately, it was Wagamama's again. I had it a few weeks ago on Deliveroo again, because obviously we're in tier three. We can't go in restaurants. And it, it was a bit cold, which can't be helped a lot of the time, obviously, because it's delivery, but the taste, just wasn't there. But afterwards, I had a hot chocolate, an options hot chocolate, which I've made on here before, and a fruit pastel ice lolly, which I also have had on my What I Eat In A Day videos before. We literally have a fruit pastel ice lolly for like a dessert and watching Netflix near enough every day after dinner. It's like a tradition. And then Nala plays with the ice lolly stick. But I am gonna leave the video there for today. I'm sorry it was a bit higgledy-piggledy in some ways. I do want to mention just one last time, the link is in the description to shop the jewellery that I'm wearing today, Anna Louisa, so don't forget to check that out. And until next time guys, if I don't see you before Christmas, have an absolutely wonderful time. I will see you in the next video. Bye!